Hey guys, do you like the Ghost Series from Talon Bulk Holtz? We've got the newest member of the Ghost Series in our Cultivar Highlight up today. Welcome Maple Mafia members. You can join too by hitting that subscribe button, guys. This is the Mr. Maple Show. Today we're gonna be talking about Acer Pomatum Dark Ghost. I'm Matt. That's my brother, Tim Nichols, over there, and we're MrMaple.com. Now, also check us out on MrMaple.com. You can subscribe to our weekly emails there. And we have a Mr. Maple Fringe group on Facebook. We've got a great community of Maple Mafia that's always involved there as well. Guys, Dark Ghost, this is one of the newest of the Ghost series by Talon Buckholtz. It is amazing, and it is extremely dark. You won't see this one a lot of places. It is the newest member of the Ghost series. Talon actually put the name Ghost on it. And if it's from Talon Buckholz and it's got Ghost on there, it's an official member of the Ghost series. Talon even counts it. Dark Ghost may be the darkest member. That, that foliage is almost black. You get some reticulated veining going on in there. It can be subtle at times. Sometimes you actually have to get up and study the leaf to see how that reticulation is going through there. Now, on the older growth, it even is more prominent. Give this one some sunlight to pick up the colors in early morning, some late day shade to hold those colors in. This one is an exquisite member of the Ghost series that gets about eight to 10 foot in 10 years, really beautiful overall growth to it. And you're gonna love that bright red fall color it displays as well. I like this one because it's a strong upright grower, but yet it's still got a little bit of semi-pendulous to it, giving a, a little more ornamental appeal. What people like about many of the Ghost series, this tree here, it's so dark, it is just almost black. And that's the thing about this tree. It is one of the darkest members of the Ghost series. As you can see here, it's awesome to pair next to yellows. We've got a gold coin over on this side, some Usumadori's over on that side. And this tree will really contrast with some of the brighter colors very, very well. Guys, get in here and look at some of these Samaras. They look incredible. They're a cherry red popping off on this dark color. This one looks good with the other Ghost Series members as well. Put this next to Grandma Ghost, First Ghost, Amber Ghost. You're going to be shocked at those color patterns. I absolutely think it is a quintessential member of the Ghost Series, bringing that darker, almost black red shade into the mix. And uh, I think you should create you an entire enchanted ghost haunted garden. You gotta complete it with dark ghost. I love this one. It's been a very vigorous grower for it in the greenhouses and it's held a good bit of sun. I do think that late day shade will really big it up and give you the best color possible. Now the fall color on dark ghost will start off as a dark maroon, later turning to a brighter red. Uh, for me, it is actually even brighter in the fall than it is during the, the summer because it does brighten up during those times. But this dark color can really contrast really well, especially if you have a, a lighter background around it. I mean, Dark Ghost, the newest member of the Ghost series, and one you're not going to find many places. Guys, I think you'll enjoy this one. It's underrated. I, I like this one next to Amber Ghost, but Grandma Ghost really looks nice with it as well. The uh, reason I pointed out the seeds are you can see what a true red is against this dark maroon foliage. It really is just so next level on the color. And I think it's one that's going to continue to grow in popularity. It's definitely bringing a lot more than Purple Ghost for that darker, darker shade. And just an overall great plant. Uh, this one's going to work zones 5 through 9, if I didn't mention that as well. So it's going to work into zone 9. You're going to need to provide it with some late day shade in that zone 8 and zone 9. Man, what a showstopper for what it can do. Pair this with the other eight members, making it nine total of that original Ghost series. I think you're going to absolutely love what that does in the garden. I mean, Japanese maple, especially the Ghost series, you, you kind of got to catch them all. You got to, once you get one, you kind of have to start getting the rest of them to put in the garden because each one adds something unique and different. And Dark Ghost, you see a little bit of nice reticulation in there, but a really dark foliage, making it one of the darkest members of the Ghost series, but one of the darkest Japanese maples uh, of all the Japanese maples as well. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, guys. There are more Japanese maple cultivar breakdowns with detailed information on our YouTube channel than in any English speaking book ever written. So go through our cultivar highlights section. I think if you're a Japanese maple enthusiast, you'll really enjoy learning about maples with us here on the Mr. Maple Show. Take care. God bless. And have a great day.